My name is Juno, and I haven't had the easiest life. Growing up, my parents always treated my older brother Jeff and me differently. While I would get scolded for anything that I did, he was always praised. If he broke something, my parents would blame me, even if it was obvious that I had done nothing wrong. They always favored Jeff because he was smart and looked exactly like our father, whereas I didn't look like either of my parents. Even when we occasionally got into fights, our parents always would take Jeff's side despite the fact that most of the time, he would hit me, and I never retaliated. My family owned a corporation that manufactured car parts, and my father was the CEO while my mother handled the finances. Even though they made good money, I knew that they would never pay for my college tuition, so I made plans to find a job once I graduated high school. I knew that it would be hard for me to make enough money to live off of and go to school, but I also knew that it would be worth it. But then, one day my parents came home and sat me down. Listen, Juno, your mother and I have made a decision about your future. My heart skipped a beat. I was skeptical about what they were going to say, but I was also incredibly hopeful that they might tell me that they would pay for my schooling. Yes, this is very good news. You are young, but we have made arrangements for you to be married. You can't be serious? How could you do this to me? Oh, we are serious and you've been useless. This arranged marriage will benefit our company as we are marrying you to the niece of the owner of Timo Corporation. They are one of our biggest clients. But I'm 18. What if I don't love this woman? What's the problem? I assumed you would be interested in being set up with an older woman. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But the next day, they told me to clean up and then get dressed in a brand new suit that they had bought for me. Looking in the mirror, I was amazed to see how well it fit and how distinguished it made me look. They even bought me hair products and cologne to use. Later that day, we drove over to a mansion with a tall gate surrounding it. Once inside, we were escorted to a room where a large woman was sitting waiting for us. Hello there. Oh my, but aren't you the handsome young man? You will be marrying my niece Kendra, although I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I had a bit of fun with you too. So then this will make things between our companies square. Yes, yes. I will sign off on the contracts and give you more work, and the debt that you accumulated will be forgiven as well. I wouldn't normally let so much money go, but hopefully this handsome and energetic young man will make up for it. I can't wait to get him upstairs. I was mortified. I had never met a woman who was so lecherous. Shocked, I tried to get my parents' attention so that I could get out of this situation, but they ignored me. Suddenly, a pair of security guards showed up and escorted me to a large room on the second floor. Once we were alone, Beatrice began to act even more inappropriately. Oh yes, you are a handsome thing. She slowly began to approach me, and I didn't like the look in her eyes. Just before she was about to lay a hand on me, though, I heard a call through the door. Hello, Aunt Beatrice, are you in there? Oh, damn. Well, young man, maybe we'll have some fun later. Yes, Kendra, please come in. Hello, um, who is this? This is your new husband. Husband, are you serious? Yes, it's well past time that you were married. People will think something is wrong with you that you are 25 and unmarried. Um, what is your name and how old are you? My name is Juno and I'm 18. 18? Aunt Beatrice, are you crazy? What's the problem? He is young and full of energy and he's handsome as well. If you're truly unhappy, then just enjoy him for a few years and then find someone else. I can't believe you. That's the reason that you've never been married. You treat men like napkins. You use them and discard them without a care in the world. I didn't know what to say, but the way that Kendra looked at her aunt, I knew that something was up. They had a very strained relationship. I was worried that Kendra would be very similar to her aunt. But over the next few months as I got to know her, she was actually very kind and had a good heart. Some nights she would come home late from work and I would prepare a meal and we would talk the whole night about our interests and what we did that day. I found her work so incredibly fascinating and I admired her work ethic. Slowly we got to know each other and found out that we had the same taste in music 
books, and TV shows. Although it had been arranged against my will, I was actually beginning to fall for Kendra. I later found out that Kendra's parents had owned the company she worked for, and that they had passed away when she was very young. Her aunt had taken over since she was too young to run the company. Thankfully, Kendra constantly put herself between her aunt and me. More than once, her aunt Beatrice tried to get me alone with her, but Kendra always made sure that it didn't happen. I know some guys would jump at the chance to be with an older woman, but I had no interest in Beatrice, especially since I was falling for Kendra, although I didn't say anything. One day, she came home rather upset, and I tried to comfort her. What's wrong, Kendra? Did you have a bad day? Oh, hello there, Juno. Yeah, it was a really tough one. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't at the moment. But don't worry. I have a plan to make sure that this will be my last tough day. I didn't understand what she meant, and she wouldn't elaborate. It was hard, but I had faith that she knew that what night she was doing. That night we curled up on the couch and watched movies to relax. A few nights later, I was home alone when I heard the front door open and close. Thinking that it was Kendra coming home, I went to greet her and was shocked to see that it was Beatrice. Uh, there's the young man that I want. How did you get in here? I have a spare key, of course. Now come here. My niece can't be the only one that has some fun with you. Stop it. Please, I'm with Kendra and this is wrong. Are you sure? Because if you turn me down, I can end all the contracts with your parents' company and they will go bankrupt. Besides, I always get what I want. Before she could lay a hand on me, Kendra burst into the room. Stop it, aunt. No, I will not. How dare you deny me what I want? I'm your boss, and if I hadn't taken care of you after your parents passed away, then you would be on the street. That won't fly anymore. As of this afternoon, the board of trustees voted you out. You've kept me from taking over the company for too long. They chose me to replace you. You can't be serious. I won't allow you to take the company from me. You have no say in the matter. The board discovered all the illicit things you've been up to. Bribing, embezzling money, and fraud. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a while. Just then, two police officers came into the room and dragged Beatrice out. It turned out that Kendra had been investigating Beatrice and found that she was doing many illegal things with the company and its money and had worked both with the board of trustees and the police to end her tyranny. As a result, she was finally able to take control of the company as she was supposed to all along. And Juno, I got you this. She hesitantly pulled divorce papers out of a pocket in her suit jacket. I know this isn't the ideal situation for you. With this, you can do whatever you like. To be honest though, that isn't what I want. I would much prefer to stay with you. Are you sure? You don't mind that I'm older and kind of a workaholic? Not at all. The time that we've spent together has made me realize that I have fallen in love with you. I could tell by the look in her eyes that she felt the same and with joy, she tore up the paperwork and we kissed. The months that followed were filled with a lot of hard work. Kendra made it her mission to clean up the company and remove all of the illegal activity that her aunt had been involved in. Part of that affected my family's business as well though. It turned out that they were involved in a lot of bribery and Kendra refused to do business with them anymore. My parents tried to call me and get me to convince Kendra to change her mind, but I blocked their number and ignored them. There was no way that I was going to jeopardize my marriage for them. After all, they sold me off, and even though it was turning out to be the best thing to ever happen to me, I still resented them for it. Months later, I found out that they ended up having to sell off their company as they were bankrupt and were forced to even sell their home as well. The last thing that I heard was that they were buried in debt and that both my parents and brother were living paycheck to paycheck in a small dirty apartment in a bad neighborhood. And as for Beatrice, well, she was sentenced to 20 years in prison for all the crimes that she had committed. As for me, Kendra paid for me to go to college, and after I graduated, I joined her company as an accountant and eventually worked my way up to be the head of finances. It was quite rewarding. And even though my wife owned the company, I was never shown favoritism and had to work hard to prove myself, which I found rewarding. Today, we couldn't be happier. And not only has our company grown, but our family has as well. We have a wonderful son and are expecting a daughter any day now. Thanks for watching.
Please like the video for the algorithm.